Let's take a walk down to our replica Mohawk Bark House along the shore of Otsego Lake. It's a building our museum staff constructed, but it's covered in bark and the interior is designed in the same way as a full-size longhouse. Longhouses are what the Haudenosaunee people lived in until about the 1700s. These huge buildings, covered in elm bark and sometimes up to a football field in length, could house up to 20 families and were built in groups where a community would farm the surrounding land and also hunt for food. In the 1700s, Haudenosaunee families began to live in smaller homes due to the spread of smallpox, a disease which wiped out nearly half of their population in the 1600s. Looking inside our bark house, you can see a long walkway down the middle of the house with fire pits and smoke holes, and beds on either side. The Haudenosaunee would traditionally sleep sitting up, backs against their wall, and next to each other. Up above would be storage area and also a place to smoke corn, beans, and squash, the three sisters, to dry and store them. Our bark house is right on the shore of the lake, so we constructed some traditional birch bark canoes which can be seen here. The black stuff on the canoe is called pitch and is a waterproofing material made from pine tree sap.